Hi guys. Right, we've got an interesting one today. Um, a couple of weeks ago, um, a lovely lady called Cindy. Sorry, Cindy. Hello, by the way. I didn't write your surname down and now I can't find the message. But Cindy asked about embossing powders on clay. Now, I have seen one video by Anna Belchie where she just sprinkles a little bit on for a bit of colour over some white. There could be thousands of other videos out there, guys. I haven't looked. But anyway, I'm doing one. Um, we're just going to have a little play, really. So what I did was I've got all sorts of embossing powders. So I just did some little um, tests just to see because I, I wondered if it would actually melt um, because normally you, you know uh, when I've used it previously in my um, mixed media um, the heat gun's really hot so anyway on this one we've got brick red distress powder which is um, a Tim Holtz one that I've got and this is one called Frosted Crystal. Uh, so it, you don't get a smooth surface with it. It leaves the surface quite pitted. Um, they've baked on fine. Uh, it's not rubbing off or anything. Obviously the Tim Holtz one has got little particles that you're supposed to rub off uh, the clay, uh, off the surface with. So most of them have probably fell off by now with my hand in it. So there's just a clear embossing powder and a distress embossing powder. Um, there's a gold embossing powder and that's a distress uh, embossing powder. I kind of mixed them up to see what would happen. And again, they're perfectly fine. They're not peeling off the surface. Um, then this is a distress stickles and I just smoothed it in with my finger and can you see how it's kind of flattened out all the particles just all flattened out and stuck to the clay uh, and it's not coming off I give it a, uh, a bat before it went in and it's not actually coming off so that's bonded really well with the surface um, I think I would probably still Put a varnish over it just to make sure but um lots of little bits are coming off around the edge that's bonded really well and then on this one i bought this ages ago thinking that these little rocks would look cool pushed into the clay but i never got around to trying them now uh oh and this is just another distress stickles that i sprinkled on the edge um they're well and truly stuck in there I can't I'm trying with my nail to pick them and I can't so they've bonded really well with the clay and that's just these little twinkly I think the nail art rocks aren't they um, but I just thought I'd try them in clay uh, so they've bonded quite well as well because um, I'm trying to flick them out and I can't so they have bonded um, so they're the test bits I did just to see if it would work so I thought we would um, I've got some clay ready uh, and you can use whatever you want guys if you're going to do this um, I've just got some black and that's on a zero I doubled it but then I've rolled it out a little bit thinner and the same with this was just that scrap of silver and hematite that I've been trying to use up and then I just did a thinner one, uh, the same as this sort of scrap of hematite and silver. And I've got some cutters to go with it. What I thought I would do is just make a couple of patterns with emboss embossing powders and the such. Um, and, you know, see how we can utilise them. Uh, I've got a, a, a quite a selection, to be fair, um, of embossing powders. So this is just um, an Imagination Crafts one and it's quite chunky and that's Roman bronze. Uh, I thought I'd use that on the black. 
I've got some UT which if you're not in the um, know it's ultra thick embossing enamel um, and it's just thicker crystals uh, so I've got a platinum in that and I've picked out a silver this is just um, a heated up brand uh, just a cheap craft brand uh, in silver so I thought I would use those two with some silver rocks uh, on some of this silver so I'll just put them to one side to keep them together uh, for now and then I thought I would do one uh, with some I've got distress glitter in different colours and it's just not as super shiny as normal glitter um, I'm not really a big glitter person it's not something I've used a lot of uh, but I have got uh, a few colours of Distress Glitter. It's a bit like Stickles. Uh, in fact, it's probably made by the same company. It's a bit like Stickles. In fact, have I got some Stickles? No, I haven't. Uh, it's Stickles without the glue, basically. And Tim Holtz has just brought out his own range of colours. Um, so I've got a few of them that I thought I'd have a play with. And... Uh, and what I'm going to do is put a stencil over a piece and rub the um, stuff in like that has there. So you get like a really fine crackled surface with it. Uh, so I thought we'd do that on one and then on the other one, uh, on the black should I say, I just thought I'd mix a few different colours and do like a bit of a grungy pattern. So I've got a tarnished gold here and I've got that bronze. Um, I made sprinkle a little bit of um, copper in or whatever. But we'll come to those. Um, I'm going to do the glitter one last because that's going to be the messiest, I think. So we'll, we'll do the one. Uh, and I'm going to put some paper down, guys, because it's going to be a nightmare to clear this up so I've got just a nice cutter I've got a lump of silver here and I've got my um, two embossing powders and I'm going to use some of the silver rocks out of this uh, kit and I just thought we'd you know make a pattern through make it a little bit more interesting I haven't overly I uh, don't know if you can see, I haven't overly conditioned this so there's still a little bit of lines running through it. I thought that would give it a little bit of um, interest and I've already got bits of glitter everywhere which will drive me mad. Um, so yeah, I'll just give this a little burnish just in case I've put any fingerprints in it. I'm going to cut it out first uh, and then put it on a piece of paper and oh should I no if I'm pushing into it I'm better off not doing aren't I right so what can we do with this well I thought I would do a bit of a line with the rocks and then sprinkle bits either side um, so I'm just going to put my cutter down and just give myself a um, just a little line uh, you know indented in my cutter just to give me an idea of where I want to go with this and I think I'll use um, a couple of bits of post-it just to stop them rolling around where I don't want them yeah so I think I'll do like a, a jazzy line just running across this so I'm just going to pop a post-it note there I'll put that a little bit further up I'll do it there I'll put a post-it note there and a post-it note there oh try and get them straight and uh, it's this is just me being pedantic guys because I know 
um, I'll get it everywhere if I'm not overly careful with what I'm doing so I'm just using these as a bit of a guide for the sprinkles oh and I did have a little shovely thing and I don't know what I've done with it nope lost right what can I use I'll use the end of my ruler to pick some of these up that doesn't want to stay stuck I'm just going to sprinkle a few of these on and push them in yeah I've just done this guys then they don't all go everywhere and I can get them pushed in without uh, too much mess so I'm really firmly pressing them in come on let's try and make sure there's no loose ones anywhere and give them a good firm press and then I'll take these stickers off like I said they were just to give me a a little bit of an idea then I wasn't um, getting them stuck everywhere so they're gonna stay there and then I'm gonna take a bit of this uh, crunchier stuff and just sprinkle it in the gaps in between the chunks and then a little bit either side like so let's get the excess off my fingers I'm not good with the uh, gritty stuff it's quite funny like sugar donuts and things oh no nightmare and I'm just going to take a bit of the finer stuff and just blend it down a bit and sprinkle a tiny bit over the top so it merges the colours and I think that will do for that now I am going to just give it a little press just to make sure that it's bonded to the surface and that now should be fine and then I'll get my cutter in fact what I'm just going to do guys is I'm just going to tap the excess off in my bin just so I've not got loads of dust everywhere and then I'll just get my cutter back into them lines and cut this shape out and as usual I've got it stuck because I forgot about um, what it was I was doing concentrating so much on uh, I'm just going to use the edge of my knife and just poke the middle where it won't matter much till it starts popping out there we go oh I've just put a mark in it oh it's coming out now I'm just going to get some cling film while I remember there's a little piece come out there I'll just put a bit of paper over guys and get rid of that bump there that I made in fact I'll give it all a little rub over it'll help the bits stick in won't it
there we go I'm not going to worry too much about those edges um, I can catch them uh, later with the sander I'm just going to give that little piece there a poke because it came out a little bit there that should be fine right there's one so we'll pop that to one side ready for baking oh I'm running out of space now then let's do the what did I say yeah we'll do the black one last so on this oh hmm no we will I'm going to use this one with all different colours of copper and stuff and I'll use some of the distress glitter on this one put that lid back on then I don't forget so here's the black we're going to do a similar thing um, I'll just and I think with this one I will cut it out because I'm not going to have to be as firm am I and then I'm not wasting clay because that clay with all the bits in um, oh it might brush off um, it might be wasted I don't, don't like wasting clay as you know so I'll cut this one out oh just get the thing and make sure it's pressed properly there we go I'll just give it a little wiggle and I'm probably going to have the same issue with this one aren't I I just said I was going to get some um, thingy out and didn't I'll just give it a gentle push with my finger because I can always smooth it back over may as well get the crumbs off while I'm at it mind I There we go, I'll just turn that over. Got a little smudge on it. There we go. Sorry guys, I don't have faff, don't I? Right, so on this one we're gonna do uh, some bronze and some copper maybe mix a bit of um all the distress colors in let's have see what else i've got bronze copper um what's this don't know which one that is vintage photo i've got one of them already open i think tarnished gold right we've got bronze copper roman bronze and I will put a little bit of um, some sort of distress colour in because I think it just adds a little bit to it. Let's find a colour I like. Vintage photo, it's just a bit of a brownie colour this one guys. Um, just to add a bit of rust looking. Uh, now then, what shall we do with this one? this one's quite chunky so I'll put this one down first maybe just do half like that let's just pop this post-it note down like so And I'll use the end of my ruler again and just pick a bit up on there and tap drop it in the line along there come on yeah I just want these to kind of blend almost like a rust blend through if that makes sense so I'll just pat them in 
and then I'll take that away so that we've got a nice line right I've done that bronze um, I'm just gonna add no I'll wait for that one I've got tarnished gold here uh, and copper so I'll put a bit of copper on next and I'm just gonna sprinkle that and mix it in a little bit over the other colour give that a pat now I'm putting plenty on then I get a bit of texture guys I don't want it looking too smooth let's get some of this bronze there and I'll just bring it into the And now I'm going to add a little bit of this um, vintage photo, it's like a brownie colour. Um, I'll add a little bit of this just to give it a bit of a worn look. I'll just give that a pat and then I'm just going to go back over with a teensy bit of bronze. Just to make sure that metallic's shining through. So we've got bronze there and I think that will do. Just going to get it off this paper a bit and it's not covered in. I don't want to tip any bits off but I want to make sure I haven't got um, too many crumbs of it down there. Let's get rid of that in my bin. Yeah, so that's number two done and that was just embossing powders <clears throat> so that's that one and this one <clears throat> oh, do you know I've got such a sore throat and I have to just keep clearing it sorry if it's getting annoying guys I just feel like I need to there's nothing I don't I want to cough but there's nothing to cough so I just have to keep clearing my throat right with this one I thought we'd do something a little bit different how I was saying that those um, glitters um, what I've got? tarnished brass rusty hinge and clear rock candy now, I'm not too sure any of them are going to work well with uh, this distress uh, this silver maybe I should have done some more black oh hang on what have I got down here African gold it's got lots of silver in it oh that's an embossing powder though right we're just going to have to stick with what I've got let's see brass rusty hinge rock candy yeah not they don't all go with silver anyway do they I think I might just use the rock candy because it will still just show up for what we're doing um, what I'm going to do is how I noticed how that uh, went all flat when I rubbed it with my finger um, I thought I could do it through a stencil and see what happened but I'm not going to be happy because of that uh, but I'm sure this this clear one will work okay let's just do it stop moaning stop moaning cap right I'm just going to Shall I cut out first? I'll cut my shape out first, I think. And I did it again, didn't I? But wiggling it should stop it sticking. There we go. Uh, better pick this up and put it on a piece of paper as well, haven't I? Being a bit daft today, folks. Right. Let's get you on a piece of paper, then I don't have to move you again. Corner's got a bit squished. There. I 
just smooth these edges a bit guys and it's not so harsh there we go and I'm just going to use this stencil just find a bit that I like the best oh I think there this is just a cheapy stencil from um, Aliexpress guys I'm just going to press the stencil so that it sticks to the clay and you can kind of see if there's any bits not stuck down so that's good because you don't want any of this to go underneath it right I'm going to put a pinch of this on and then just start burnishing it with my finger and you'll see what I mean with what it does it's magic need a little bit more Got it all covered. Let's give it a press to make sure it's all down. And I think it's all burnished in and flat. There's just this little bit on the edge here that I've not quite got any in. I just pat some in there. Right, I'm just going to take this to one side guys and bat it off then I don't get it everywhere oh I've lost my bin again right I've batted the excess off now so all that's on there is what we've burnished in and I'll just peel the stencil off And we've got this funky funky design going on right I shall get these all in the oven I've got it all over the sides of this which I didn't want to do but I'm sure it'll sand back okay um, I'll get all these popped in the oven guys uh, half an hour um, and then we can finish them off just might as well pop them all together so you can have one final look before they go in there we go so I'll pop all these in and um, I'll see you in about half an hour see you in a minute bye hi guys we're all baked just wait till you see these they look really cool now you can see I think hopefully there we go um, I think when I closed my oven door it blew um, some of the the looser powder so I've ended up with these like little speckles uh, you're probably going to be able to see it better in uh, photos that I do guys but maybe oh there you go that looks really cool uh, I'm really pleased with that one there's no loose rocks or anything they're all glued in nicely I would will possibly go over this with um, even if I just do it here just go over with a little bit of varnish just to make sure that um, I don't think there's any loose ones but I'd hate to give somebody a piece of jewellery and it pop out on them uh, but yeah uh, that looks pretty cool especially the way the uh, it looks like enamel 
on the surface and then it goes almost matte with splashes this one if you remember I had quite a straight line and again I think it's blown but look at the finish on that and there's quite a bit of texture underneath um, and you can see the different colours but they've all merged like molten metal now I don't think this is I don't want to stick my nail in and spoil it but there's a little bit on the side I can't actually pick that off but again to be on the safe side I would probably go over with um, a bit of varnish just to protect that surface um, but they look pretty cool don't they and this one where I rub the glitter on now there is a little bit of loose glitter and where I've just set it to dry uh, I didn't realize it was uh, to cool I didn't realize it was hanging off so it's put its own curve in it as it's uh, cooled off which is nice but doing that with the glitter looks pretty funky as well doesn't it uh, so you could do that with the embossing powders couldn't you just rub them in now they would probably run a little bit once they got hot but um, just showing you that that brand of glitter heats up quite well and is perfectly fine um, it's not coming well there's bits coming off but I think that's just in fact just let me get um, I'll just get a little cloth and just give this a wipe over my bin and just make sure that whatever's coming off isn't um, no it's well and truly stuck in fact it feels quite oh I've got a bit of fluff stuck now because of that cloth uh, it feels quite smooth because it's made the, the particles of glitter when I burnished them they went quite flat to the clay didn't they so it even though there's a bit of texture on there now I've done that there's nothing coming off can you see um, again I would probably go over with a bit of um, varnish or something just to seal it in because you wouldn't want to lose that finish would you but there you go guys so Cindy I hope that helped you uh, can you use your embossing powders on polymer clay you certainly can durability I wouldn't like to say how long that's going to last but when all said and done it's a plastic on a plastic and if it's sealed in then I would imagine it's going to be perfectly okay uh, I'm not going to finish these off guys um, I'll just take a decent photo of them because I would need to do a bit of sanding and stuff if I wanted to uh, do something with them uh, but for little samples of uh, what you can do that especially and that one just looks really cool that platinum and splashes of the silver and then blending into the other silver uh, just looks really cool and those rocks have held up really well haven't they um, so yeah there you go guys uh, can you put certain inclusions on your clay looks like you can hope that was uh, enjoyable and I shall see you all soon bye guys <laughs>